Hello everyone, Tidot here we're back with another video, and it's my first toy review. So right now I just went to Target today, and I got this thing. Yep, I finally got Ballora. So, um, let's look at the back of the box. Now I'm pretty sure all of you have probably seen this before, but just in case if you haven't, there, Funko made a series of Five Nights at Freddy's Special Location Funko, Funko action figures, and they decided to make Enter the main centerpiece for you to buy all the figures. Right now, I got Baby, formerly now Blora, and Funtime and Foxy. All I need to do is get Funtime Freddy just to get this leg. Anyway, let's unbox this thing. So, um, you're not really going to see it because I'm going to put the um, camera down. Okay, let me open it. Okay, it's out. Oh, good, the arms fell. Now, time to take. Now, time to officially take her out of her box. And as always, I keep the um, plastic packaging over there. Okay, this is Bulora, the ballerina who who lives in a room and loves to jump scare people. Now, first of all, I'd like to see the um, arms of Ennard. Uh, okay, let's let's look. Nice, it's so spooky. Mm. Okay, let's see which which eye is this. Come on, camera focus. You know, I'm just gonna. Okay, so it's brown. I have no idea whose eye is brown. And the other one. Which eye is this? Oh, this one doesn't have an eye on it. Oh well, time to assemble these arms to Ennard. Now, I'm actually gonna um, let you guys see this. Whenever you're assembling these figures, you always have to look at your own hand to know which, which arm goes which. Sorry, I just wanted to test if I could ever take off these arms again. Oops. Oh, you could take off his hands and replace them with someone else's. I like that. Okay, so here's Ennard. Wait, let me pick up the phone so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, so here's Ennard with his arms. I like it. But anyway, we're not here to review Ennard. We'll review Ennard when I get Funtime Freddy. Right now, the main priority is Ballora. Now, um, let's just say that, um, I think they made her arms pretty fat. Uh, she looks like she just gained some weight, and it looks like she's wearing a t-shirt 
with, I think she's wearing a, a t-shirt kind of sleeves. Anyway, time to pose with Laura in her signature pose. Oh man, I, I've been I've been posing my figures like Blur the day I got my first of these figures. Because Blur was actually the main reason why I started liking FNAF in the first place. It all started with some guy called James Fan. I don't know what is, what uh, the full name is, but he uh, made a Thomas special called The Castle Beyond Sodor. And he used the song Dance to Forget that occurs... Well, I wouldn't technically say occur in Five Nights at Freddy's. And then I decided, oh my goodness, that song is so good. I wonder I wonder if I, I could just use the vo regular volume. Then I watched um, the original and I learned about Ballora. Now, listen, if you watch FNAF for a very long time, you get really used to the jump scares. And I then started to like FNAF. Yeah, so thanks, Ballora. You made me like FNAF. You're welcome. Now I may dance. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, let's just see how your tutu moves. Okay, um... Technically, if you just want to do this for yourself and you don't have Bulora, you can also do it with Baby. But I'm not going to do it right now since she's supposed to be acting like she's in alleyway right now. Now, let's see. Mm. Oh man, it's so hard to do this when you're holding something at the same time. Here, um. Let's see. Okay. I think I could do this. That there we go. She could go on a 360, but it's but she can't. But if you want to make it look like her tutu is moving, try filming just her torso and and not her legs. Now she also comes with this cute little stand. <laughs> it looks like a scoop Bora. And it's a good thing that there's one peg. That way we can pose Ballora in any way without having like a weird little blue peg next to her. But also, if you have a little bit of patience and maybe a sturdier table, you can stand Ballora without the stand. You know what? I'm just going to use the stand itself, but I'm not going to use the peg. Nope, I don't think I have enough patience to do it. Also, they gave her... Also, she has a robot nude. Uh, I don't know why they did not give her her pansies. I'm trying to make it based on a Mandy Matronic right now. Anyway, let's pose Ballora. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna um not show the process of it because it's really hard to do these things when you're not, when you, at the same time trying to hold the camera. Okay, I don't think this is a ballerina pose, but it's something decent. I guess you could say it's a type of dancing pose. All I see is an empty room. No more joy. An empty tomb. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hang on, I have a great idea. Just let me get upstairs for a sec.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry it took a while. Oh gosh, the video's starting, sorry. Okay, time to do some reenactment. I'll put my so music source machine in the background. And let me pose below in a regular pose.